Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another Brown Dust video. Alright, so we have the Luna New Year event, Winter Wonderland. Why did they put a Winter Wonderland right there? I have no idea. Uh, new event right here. So apparently you can get costumes or iris costumes, I think, alongside with some Legend Scrolls and things of whatnot. But today, we will be focusing on the Evil Castle. So, right now, um, it's already been completed on my server. <laughs> I don't even have to participate at all. You can clearly see I'm still at 51 floor. Alright, so I'm going to try and attempt it and I'm going to show you guys uh, some of the methods that you can use. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so we're going to start with floor 51. So this is quite straightforward when you look at all the skills of the enemy. Um, basically, there's this. This is a supporter. Uh, she basically buffs everyone and deals fix additional damage you know to allies which is quite interesting so she does deal some some sort of damage but do keep in mind they will not die in one hit because most of the monsters here have the healing look at this monster right here max hp times 60 percent healing that is a lot that is a lot so your objective is to try to charm this guy at the back soul succubus so with uh with what you want to call that a charm right so this guy will basically charm everyone else when he hits one his charm so notice that one two that means this guy will move first you will need some sort of tank at the top lane so what you can do this is what i figured out so far okay so this particular stage took me like i think at least two to three days to figure out uh it's not even funny but you really need these following units to to basically make it work and i'll explain why along the way so let me go ahead first so hopefully you guys notice that the first unit is to tank Horan right there and Mia is just to charm this particular unit all the way at the back. So now they are all chain charm. Alright, chain charm as in the enemies will start hitting each other from this point onwards. So most of them will die except for the back three. So this is where it gets tricky. Okay, so notice that everyone is charm. Every single unit is charm except for you know, this particular unit in line with Mia and Natalie. So now you want to charm her again. And you want to remove the attack interference from the supporter, the enemy boss. And then you want Mia to continue to charm her. Right, so that uh, she will get... So that once she has charm, that means that she will be able to... The supporter in the middle will be able to destroy her, if you get what I mean. So we got the 100 arena swords. Now the previous method, somehow for me, no matter how I tried it, uh, it only get me... That method requires me to take 24 turns. So if you want to achieve the 20 tu 23 turns requirements, uh, this is a strat that I figured out that should work. Uh, you just need Mia, Iris, and some sort of tank that doesn't have taunt. Alright, so you want something that can tank. Without taunt, it's kind of hard because maybe Benshina would work. No, Benshina wouldn't work. Benshina and Kauli wouldn't work because they have taunt. So I would recommend Dalvi. So if she can switch in the early stages of the form, it should be doable. Just like that. So now, everybody will get charm. Iris goes in and hit. So notice that this strategy will not make the supporter all the way at the back. The Soul Succubus Queen, she will not be charmed entirely. Alright, so this is good because right now, she still has that skill right there. Alright, so Dalvi going back in. So now they both have charm and boom. So we got it within the 23 turns, we did it in like 20 turns or so. So this is how I do it. Uh, I did two separate strats to basically achieve both, all the requirements basically. Alright, so for floor 52, you can achieve um, pretty much using the same team almost all right so basically one two you know this guy's going first so some tank in front so luckily this uh soul circle burst doesn't have much damage so you can use a three star rosa or mercedes or anything that's three star all right and then we have natalie going in first followed by mia so this strategy should work easily but you will not get the honor points uh, rewards you should be able to get all three requirements completed so let's show it to you guys so they will start hitting each other after their charm. Chain all the way. Kaboom. Kaboom. Easily all the way to the back. 
Alright, so from this point onwards, Rosa seems to be able to take hits no problem. I don't have any runes on her. But ideally, if you want to, you can give one rune, one vital or some something like that. So from this point onwards, support. Boom! Destroyed! So all the enemy team are just completely destroyed. So again, this will not give you any points in terms of getting the honor points. So you guys can see right here, floor 52, none of the point rewards are achievable. You need 14,000 and I only got 1, 2, 3, 6. So we're going to use a different strategy for that if you want to achieve the honor points. Alright, so to get all the honor points, you have to try to do something like this. Preferably, uh, 1 Octavia, 2 Jacqueline and then you put Dalvi in the middle. So you need some sort of strong defender in the middle that do not have taunt. So that's the biggest problem. Uh, and a lot of the defenders right now have taunt. Arkan uh, is one of the few that do not have them. And Cecilia, just to be safe, because taunt will redirect the, the attack towards the defender and screw the things up. So basically, you want the charm to work in this manner. So notice that the chain will start itself after Octavia goes in because it's in the cross tile kind of thing format. And then uh, the middle units got charmed by Dalvi. So Dalvi is kind of a must, but you don't really need her to be at high skill level, I think. As long as she can do some sort of reflective charm, maybe Asmode could work as well if you have a tanky Asmode. But it's going to be harder because you need that defense to secure that, to make sure that the most front unit didn't die. Alright, so with that being said, so we got everything true all the honor points as well. So give this a shot. If you don't have Cecilia, um, I think Arkan could work or any sort of defender. Maybe Jacqueline could work as well because you just need 14,000. I did get like 59,000. So that's a lot more than, you know, you actually need to get all the honor points. All right, so next up we have floor 53. So this uh, is gonna be slightly easier. So you need some sort of attack interference that can try to tackle this first guy right here so tiara works if i'm not mistaken there are a few other options besides tiara um attack interference as long as you have stun freeze who has freeze that's three star britain will work but he doesn't require he's a four star so you you won't fulfill that three star requirement so someone that can tank behind uh in this case i use mercedes you can use anyone to tank behind mia so if you don't put someone behind me, yeah? the first dude that will attack is this guy right here, the soul incubus, he's gonna like, he's gonna like boom, destroy me, yeah? so you can put Mercedes either here or here just to tank the hits, I guess here is fine, alright, so this should work, I guess, so let's go with something like this, this seems much safer, like the further you are from the opponent, the safer you are, that's how I feel, alright, regardless, Let's see if this works out. So that guy will kill Mercedes, no problem. Tiara goes in. Stun the first dude. Charm, charm. Everybody is charm. Chain charm, Ling charm, all the way. Kaboom. Got. Charm again, and charm again, and charm again. And... Boof. Okay, so... I think we got this. Uh, stun, attack interference, so that will destroy him in the process. So we got all the challenges right here. Uh, 5 star skill book pieces times 150. Alright, notice that you only get 304 points. So that means you will not be able to get the honor points required to get all the honor points. So I'm going to teach you guys how to get all the honor points. Alright, you need something like an Octavia front and then you need, uh, of course you need Iris. And you need some sort of tank at the back. So I would recommend again Dalvi. Um, hopefully most of you guys will have her. I know majority of the players have Dalvi. She has 95% <laughs> use rate in the arena. So I think majority of you guys watching will most likely have at least some sort of version of her. You don't really need a plus 15 again. Uh, just need her to switch to Fox form, tank the hits. Alright, so here's what you need to do. So Octavia will go in first, so Dalby will get hit first, boom, she's Fox, no problem, Octavia goes in, and Iris goes in. So this should give you the completion for all the, um, you know, all the required points to get all the honor points required. 
I hope. Boom! Destroyed. Destruction. 36,000 points. You should be able to get all the honor points this way. There might be some battle methods out there. I'm not saying that this is, uh, you know, the best method that you can use, but this is how I do it. So get all the free honor points. 300, 200, 300, and 600. Alright, so for this floor, you only need 3 units. Natalie, uh, Mia, and then Tiara. So ideally, just to stun, deal attack interference and stuff. So what you need to do is, Natalie is going to apply to this guy, Concentrated Fire number 4. Mia is going to charm him. And Tiara's gonna stun the top guy at number three. So you do keep the no do need to keep in mind that they are going to hit you first. If you don't protect your units, uh, this threat will not work. So we need two more additional units. You can use any units for this particular threat. Just put place someone behind Tiara and someone behind Mia. So since this soul incubus guy hits at the far back, so this should work. Uh, let's see. And then you have Natalie going in, Mia Charm, and then Tiara Stun. Alright, so from this point onwards, uh, the Charm effect will stack on the enemies, and then the supporter will go in and BOOM! Easy! Alright, this should get you all the challenges, uh, maybe except for the Honor Points. Let's see how much do I get for the Honor Points. 887, so that is very little, you will not get the honor points requirements. So to get all the honor points, this is what you can do. Alright, so we're going to start off with Iris. So ideally use Iris right here. Can be plus anything I believe, just make sure you put runes on her. So that way you get uh, better chances of, you know, getting higher points. So you want the honor points. And then we're going to grab Mia. So I have a 6 star Mia somewhere, somewhere around here. And of course we're going to tank with a Dalvi at the back. Again, majority of you guys have Dalvi, I believe so. So this strategy should work. It's kind of similar with the previous floor uh, in terms of how to get the honor points, you know, but just the positioning is slightly different. So you need Mia to charm this guy at the back. The soul succubus and from this point onwards, you know, everything just escalate from there. Zoop, boom, destruction. So this should secure you all the honor points that you need because using this you can get 85,460 points total 85,000 all right so that's going to be more than enough to get you all the honor points requirements which is up to 18,000 points all right so this should do it so make sure to secure all the honor points so you can buy your five star skill books or whatever all right so moving on last one floor 55 Alright, so for the last floor, final floor, castle number 55th floor. Alright, so this one is a little bit hard. You are no longer fighting the girl. This time you are fighting Soul Incubus King. So shout out to user Kaz Kaz Kazaxi, KZXI. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. KZAXI. Alright, so this user, uh, I saw he posted quite a lot of his guides in the previous floors but I referred to his one on this particular one um, definitely doable but I think he forgot one information which is Mia alright so you need a plus 6 Mia if your Mia is below plus 6 it will not work alright so fortunately you only need that there and you need Ebony uh, Siska and Coret definitely they are going to work well and you need one Taunter right here I'm gonna recommend using Ron because majority of the taunters for 3 stars most of them need to be either awakened or skill up high enough Ron has taunt by default at you know even at skill level 0 I believe so I'm gonna make my Mia plus 6 mine is at plus 5 so this strategy will not work okay so Mia skill up 1 3 star skill book so that difference in plus 5 to plus 6 is basically the more turns in the charm you want the 6 turns of charm and I will explain to you guys why we need that right now. Okay, so everything in place. So remember, you only need one, two, three, four, four folders, and you need Ebony, Coret, Siska, uh, Ron, preferably Mia at turn last turn, basically. She's actually the last turn because this number nine, this girl, she will definitely die. 
So one, two, she will be the first one to die. So you just want to protect your Ebony. So why is Ebony important? Because this boss right here, he gives Bestow's additional damage, basically enemies max HP times 120% additional damage. This is an insane skill, man. Imagine if you have this on your supporter. So this is truly insane. You gotta remove that with Ebony. All right, Ebony apparently can remove that. I actually did not know that. Uh, after fighting through this stage, apparently it works. So let me show you guys. We're gonna tone it down a bit. Tone it down. So this dude buff. He goes in hit, one dead. Look at this. Boom! Remove two things from all the minions. And then this guy will remove the front one. Boom! Okay, so now we have all the fodders. Ron has taunt, this is very important. Ron needs to taunt this guy away or else Mia would die, right? So from this point onwards, all the enemies will just hit all the fodders that you have. They can be 3 star, anything. Okay. So the skeleton archer right here, die. So notice this time Mia is going to charm this soul incubus king. Mia dies, no problem. Succubus hits ebony. Succubus hits ebony. So now soul incubus king will buff you because he is charm. And now we're going to go in and mop the floors. Ebony buffing everyone. Go in correct. Boom. Go in. Siska. Boom. Easy. Alright, again, credits to KZ XI. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but yeah, his strategy works wonders. Fortunately, you only need one strategy for this. Uh, you don't need a separate strategy to get the honor points. This should get you everything. Alright, so you are getting the 592,115 by default. That's the record right here. So that should get you all the honor points required. So let's go, let's have a look. 592, you only need 20,000. So easy honor points right there. That's a total of what? At least 1,500 honor points right there. So definitely worth it. If you guys have not yet done the event, make sure to do uh, all the evil castle because uh, this event, a special event will last until January 22nd. Apparently you get all of this. And if 100% people complete, you get diamonds. You get 600 diamonds. I don't even have to participate and my server has already gotten 600 diamonds. Easy. So make sure, collect everything, all right? So help your help your server, right? If you are in global, you are in uh, EU, if you are in Asia, you can not play and still get the free 600 diamonds, pretty much. Uh, I don't know, regardless of what server you are on, make sure to do it as soon as you can because this event will still last for approximately one more week. Hopefully, I'll post this video today. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Alright, as always, if you are new to the channel, subscribe, give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.